Okay, so this is a tutorial about the app called ThingLink. Now, um, it's basically a tagging software for photographs for iPhone, iPod, iPad, um, and it's available online as well for free. Uh, so when you first load it, you get this screen with all these pictures on. Uh, they are your pictures, obviously, not some random person's. And you also get your pictures on here. And you also get um, uh, the menu screen with settings for whatever you want. But um, so this is the main part of the app. When you click on the picture you want to tag, uh, it will bring up this, and you can click on places on the picture and select what you want to do. So if I had a video for the Wi-Fi, if I type in PCSA Digi Leaders, uh, there's a video about Priory Guest, which is the internet, so if I do Wi-Fi as a tag for that. So now when people click on that, it'll bring up the video and say Wi-Fi. Um, here, I, can, I don't think there'll probably be a picture about passcodes, so I could do maybe, I don't know if Apple has a Twitter account, uh, Apple... Um, and then down here, because you can do Twitter accounts as well, like I just did, you can do that PCSA, DG, Leaders, and you can just add text as well. So if I do DG to Leaders. So you can add as many of these tags as you want. Um, but then when you go into the next screen, this is like the final part. It asks you for a title which is 60 characters long. Um, it does add in the tags you've already done, which is quite helpful, unless you're like the tags I just did, and then it's completely useless. But, um, so I'll just do a tag called Priory Lock Screen. And then you can share it to Facebook, Twitter, email, and you can turn it off so that it doesn't go on their website as well. But obviously you might not want that. Um, I believe it so it'll go on their website. Um, so if I click post, you can see I've done this quite a few times already. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can use it for anything you want. At the moment, I don't think there's actually a restriction on how many photos you can upload to it. Although I'd imagine there will be eventually. Um, because obviously they can't host everybody's pictures in the world. Um, so... Like I said, you can use it for anything, random or creative. So, you can use it for things like this. I've used it for tagging components on my Raspberry Pi circuit. Or you could just use it for things like pictures of cats. <laughs> um, so, let's just go on the one I just did. Um, if you click on the little Twitter thinglet, it, so it takes you to a little window asking you to follow the account. And if you click on follow me, it brings up a nice little thing with their account on. So you can see all their tweets on there. Um, and then uh, if you just click on the text, it will just come up like that. And the videos will open up in a little screen like this. And you can play them in a nice little player, which you can make full screen as well. Um, so, that is basically the app. Uh, as I say, you can add as many pictures as you want at the moment, but I'm sure there will be a limit soon. And um, you can also add as many tags as you like. Um, so you could add a hundred tags or one. But anyway, so that was the app ThingLink. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy using it.